Today I'll be reviewing my instant death ability is so overpowered. No one in this other world stands a chance against me. I had read the manga for this a long time ago. However, there are only a few chapters released at the time. Many years later, an anime adaptation was made, so I decided to watch it. In this anime series, the main character Yogiri was sent to another world along with his classmates. Most of his classmates were given a special power known as GIF, but Yogiri wasn't given one. He is seen as useless. What they don't know is that Yogiri already has the strongest ability ever. There have been countless Iskai anime series and fantasy anime series with power fantasies. This is the biggest power fantasy of them all. Yogiri is literally all powerful. No one stands a chance against him. He is probably the strongest anime character ever. He has the power to kill anything, and when I say anything, I mean anything. He can kill people easily. He can even kill buildings, ice, even air. He can kill anything he wants just by thinking about it. Once he decides to kill, it's over right there. No one will somehow survive. Once the person gets hit by his ability, they are dead. He can even kill someone far away from him if they even think about killing him. The only way he can be defeated is if someone tries to do a surprise attack on him without thinking about killing him. That is obviously difficult. So, with such an all-powerful character, the appeal of this anime series is very obvious. It's watching arrogant characters be horrified as they realize just how powerful Yogiri is. They realize just how weak and pathetic they are compared to him. You see them cower in fear against him. That is as good as it gets in terms of power fantasy. No wonder the series got so popular that it got an anime adaptation. People in Japan must really like this. I can certainly see the appeal. You get to see the most powerful main character make a fool out of everyone. Even with it being popular, does that mean the plot and writing are good? It depends on how you view the series. I view it as how it's supposed to be viewed, as a comedy anime series. The appeal is comedic tone of him making a fool out of his enemies. You're not supposed to take this anime series seriously, and this anime series makes that very obvious. The death scenes are treated as a joke, and the atmosphere is almost always lighthearted, even when many people die. Comedy is very subjective, but I found the scenes funny to watch. It was funny seeing the characters try to prepare a strong attack, only to get killed quickly by a main character. It's funny and satisfying seeing such arrogant characters cower in fear and be helpless. It's hilarious how so many people think they have a chance against him, and then he kills them without making much of an effort. I'm not watching this for the fight scenes. The fights obviously aren't good, because they aren't even really fights. It's all about seeing Yogiri make a fool out of his enemies and killing them in funny ways. This is great for comedy, but a problem in terms of overall characters in this anime series is that it's difficult to care about the other characters because so many of them have terrible personalities and get killed off so quickly. The only ones you really care about are Yogiri, Hanakawa, and Danaora. Yogiri is a kudir that shows no emotions at all. That can be funny at times because he kills characters like it's such an easy thing. And he doesn't really think about it. Outside of fighting though, his kudir personality can be boring to watch. Danaora is just a regular girl. She finds herself caring about Yogiri over time, but nothing about her personality really stands out. Hanakawa is actually an entertaining side character. He is a character you would think would get killed off right away, but he always finds a way to survive with his words. He is just so good at begging for mercy. It's funny seeing a selfish and arrogant character somehow talk his way out of danger. The opening and ending song for his anime series were decent. The music for this anime series fit the lighthearted comedic tone of the series well. The animation style and the animation looked alright. It's very difficult to judge this anime series. It all depends on if you find the main character killing enemies quickly to be funny. At first, it does seem repetitive, but the conversations leading up to it are what made it so funny and unique. After all, each enemy will have a different personality, so their reactions will be entertaining and different. I enjoyed it for what it was, an enjoyable anime series 
that was entertaining to watch. I knew going in, it wouldn't have a great plot. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10.